five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, it's the Ramble. I'm Alex Bennett. We'll be here until midnight tonight, Eastern Daylight Time. Ladies and gentlemen, there he is, Stephen Kravitz. Yay! That was crazy. The myth, the legend. You've heard it all before. Here is Kravitz. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Alex, how you doing, buddy? Okay, I'm just tired all the time. I don't know what it is. I'm just, you know. Well, you're an elder caca. Well, also, I think it's uh, it's uh, the quarantine. I think it's, I've been in this apartment for like four months. Yeah. And I think I'm my body's finally saying, you got to go out and get some rays. You know? Right. Yeah. You know, can't, can't you go out? I mean, are you guys still quarantined? No, we can start. Well, we've been able to go out for about a week, but wearing a mask and so on, you know, which isn't, you know, I, 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 I'm very much a mask advocate. Okay, mind you. I just pretend I'm in Japan. Hey, let me turn on a light here, so I, so I have a little more light on me. See that? Okay, there. We oh, go. there you go. There we go. Make up, make up. Yeah, I, I'm screwing up so much today. This is the second time we've started this interview because I'm like, I'm loopy. And I'm tired. I'm tired all the time. And I think it has to do with not, you know, uh, being out at all. But anyway, I, as I said, I'm a proponent of the mask, and I will wear the mask. In fact, I wear gloves when I go out, which yeah. maybe isn't necessary at this point, but because the H, uh, WHO says you can't catch it from surfaces is what they're right. saying now. But I wear the mask. Uh, and uh, out of respect for other people, all right? Because you right. wear the mask so you won't give it to anybody, and they wear the mask so they won't give it to you. It's kind of a reciprocal right. thing. And when I don't see somebody wearing a mask, I want to yell at them, you don't care about us, do you? You live in a world all by yourself. They're usually Trump supporters. Uh, uh, well, they've made, they've turned the mask into a political issue when yeah. it's not. Right. You know, Same it, thing with Kaepernick kneeling. Yes. Well, different thing, but you know, on the same uh, same page. Same page, exactly. I mean, to begin with, I never got the Kaepernick kneeling deal because, like, let's say I go to England and the Queen wants to knight me. Yeah. What do I do? You kneel. I take the knee. Sure. Right. Uh, if I don't, if I don't, I get my head chopped off. Right. Well, yeah. There are circumstances. Yeah, but uh, uh, here, if you take the knee, all of a sudden you're a bad guy. And what he was doing is he was saying, "I'm going to do some kind of respect for the national anthem. It's just it's not going to be what you're used to. I'm not going to put my hand over my heart. I'm going to kneel." Right. 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 And they turned that into a sign of protest. They ruined this man's career, and it was a form of protest, but. Who doesn't have the right to protest in this country? Right, 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 right. Did you see, um, came on the news yesterday, Bubba Wallace, I think his name is, Bubba something. Yeah. Stock car driver. Yeah. Stock car driver. And uh, they found a noose in his garage, and then a small plane flew over with the Confederate flag. Yeah. Well, maybe, the, the, maybe it was put there by the, uh, my wife just walked in. Uh, she, I told her I was doing an interview, and she still walks in. Anyway, well, uh, you she know. Walked out. Uh, a, a, anyway, um, uh, uh, I, I understand that the noose maybe was fashioned by Jesse Smollett, but I'm not sure. You know, remember that story? No, no, no. Jesse right. Smollett was the guy who was on Empire, the show on Fox, and never, never saw it. And he faked being beaten up by people who were wearing MAGA hats, <laughs> and he came back to his apartment kind of beaten up, wearing wearing, wearing a noose, a badly made noose around his neck. <laughs> yeah, 
is an idiot. This is a just get out of here. Yeah, yeah. What a nut! Yeah. I thought I was a nut. This yeah. This guy's over the top. He's really over the top. You know, yeah. So. He needs to go to sleep boy camp and get his adjustments. Exactly. So anyway, that's that's what happened with, uh, with with this guy. He went into his, I guess they call it a stall. I guess that's where they keep the car or something like that. And there was a noose. Obviously, right. it was some place that the public could get to, but in the you know not a place where only he could get to and get into. Well, no, it, it was in the garage, and it's, you have to have special passes to get that far into the pit. Oh, really? It's not the public doesn't go there at all. So you think it was a, di a a disgruntled race car driver, maybe? Probably or one of his crew, well, thinking he was making a statement. I don't think so. I don't think his crew would do. Why would they do? Why would his crew do something no, like not that? Not his own crew. It might have been somebody else's crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not his crew. His crew wouldn't do that. Yeah. So you like the new glasses, Alex? Yeah, and you also got rid of the beard. Yeah, it was time. And, and today, after we're done, I'm going to go get a haircut. Well, everybody today in New York is the first thing they're doing is getting a haircut. I don't need to because I bought clippers, and now my <laughs> wife does my haircuts. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. But I, then again, I don't. You know, I don't have much. You don't to have do. much to cut. No, it's, it doesn't take much uh, des uh, designing, you know, and and I don't need a beautician for it. So, no. so listen, when we started, and I, I'm so out of it today that I, I, while I was recording you, I wasn't recording you, I was recording women, I'll show the audience this, okay? And the reason was uh, I didn't even pay attention to what was on my screen. So, so we started over again, and the last time we started, you told me that you were moving from Boulder City, Nevada, which I don't know why, because that is the garden spot of Nevada. Actually, it, it, you know, I didn't even lock my door. There's like no crime here. No crime. And the coronavirus never came to Boulder City. Really? Yeah. And neither did anybody else. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, if you, that's it, the point. You, you, you folks who are listening to me right now may have been to Boulder City and not known it because you were, on your, you were on your way to the dam. Right, right. You know, and you pass, the if you look to the left on the hills there, there's a mountain, there's like houses and stuff like that. Right. Yeah, am That's I right? Us. Yeah. Yeah, actually it'd be on the right. Yeah. Be on oh, the right hand oh, side. Be on the right hand side, okay. And, and, and what killed Boulder City, Alex, is when they built a freeway and they didn't put an exit for Boulder City. <laughs> they didn't? No. So but how do you get to Boulder City? Well, you got to get off and then take another, like, minor, you know, um, side road. What do they call it? Service road. Yeah. You know, to get to Boulder City, where there's like a drop off of like, you know, 30 feet and no guardrail. And you're zipping along at 50 miles an hour. Well, wait a minute. Here's what I don't get. When they suddenly realize they made that mistake, and they have to have made that mistake years ago, right? Right. Why didn't they correct it? You tell me. I mean, you know, Boulder City has one supermarket, has no movie theater, has one library. I mean, it's a small town. It's Hooterville. How did you even find it? Well, I did some research, and I was wanted to get out of L.A. because yeah. L.A. was no longer productive. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I did some research, and I didn't want to be in Vegas proper. So I looked around in, in Boulder City and the rent, like I was paying in, in LA, I was paying for a studio, mm -hmm. for like a little little box, I mean, time, like a cell. Yeah. I was paying over 900 bucks a month. Mm -hmm. Boulder City, I come here, I get a two bedroom, you mm -hmm. know, 800 square feet, and uh, I'm paying less than I was paying in LA. Really? Yeah. Of course. And I, and it's I Boulder I City, had... it's Boulder City for Christ's sake. What do you yeah, pay for? Uh, what do you pay for rent there? Eight seventy. And how many rooms do you have? Two bedrooms. Wow. And what's the other bedroom for? It's my music and office. 
Oh, and I got that's. My drums, I got my drums here. I got my guitars here, and I got my computer here. Uh, and and that's where you are right now. That is exactly where I'm at now, right now. Now I seem to see in the mirror a device of some sort that looks like an exercise device or something. What is it? Where, where, where in the mirror? Uh, you see right below the picture. What what is that? I'm seeing what you yeah. Oh wait a minute, there it is. Oh, it's your drums. What is it? Right. Is that drums? Yeah, it's electronic drum set. Oh, okay. All right, fine. Uh, I I just wonder what that was. It looked like it might have been uh, some kind of thing to work out on or something like that. Yeah, Alex, you're mistaking me for somebody else. Yeah, I know, but I I figured I'd ask. You might be going through a health binge or whatever. I don't know with you. No, no, no. I'm uh, right now. I'm going through a gain weight binge. Oh well, everybody is. I need to gain weight. You know. Oh, I, you I, need I, to I, gain I, weight. Say what? You need to gain weight. If you lived in New York and you were indoors for the last four months, you'd gain weight. Well, I found, you know, I, I don't, uh, I haven't really gone off my diet much, and I've gained maybe 15 pounds. See, and on the other side, I lost 15 pounds in a very short period of time. Well, will you get, I think that the earth, I have a theory. That the okay, earth is a has, has wait a, wait a minute, let me get out a pen. Has a certain uh, okay. the earth has a certain uh, ecology in which yeah. every time somebody loses a pound, somebody gains a pound. You know uh, what I'm saying? Like so you have, everybody other, has an identical twin. Otherwise, if everybody gained it once, the earth would wobble. And that's a bad thing. Why? Okay. And if everybody lost at the same time, the earth would wobble. But if everybody, if there's a certain weight distribution that goes on in the uh, ecology. Oh, hold on. Let, let me get rid of my pen. I'm, I've heard your theory. Yeah. I've heard you, yeah. You, okay. th you think I'm full of shit? That'd be a nice way of putting it. Oh, well, thank you very much. But hey, you on. look at it. You, lo you lost 15 pounds, and I gained 15 pounds. Now, try okay, between and. Me, between me and you, your theory works. Between just us. Yeah. Now, you got to multiply that with like a trillion people? Well, the, if the earth is wobbling a little bit, it's because <laughs> it's because Trump keeps putting on weight. <laughs> Trump, you know, I, I, I just don't see it. I still just don't see Well, it. I wish I were there for that, uh, that uh, speech the other night because I could easily social distance in that auditorium yeah, yeah you just went up to the balcony there's a picture i uh, i have of one person sitting there upstairs just one person just sitting there and really? i went he doesn't even need to wear a mask no no he can take off his gloves too yeah yeah so i mean uh uh it, it was not it was not a a, a big deal okay uh, boy, it was uh, he. He was supposed to get uh, the nineteen thousand people would fit in that auditorium, and right. he only had sixty two hundred, L less than a third. Sounds like one of my headlining gigs. <laughs> well, now he knows what it's like to go to open mic night. Yeah, good night. <laughs> you know. That's funny. That's yeah. funny. Yeah. Um, so, uh, what do you do for grins then in Boulder City? I mean, have you made friends? Do you go to barbecues? Do you what? Is there anything to do? Well, there's the TV. Mm -hmm. There's my music. Mm -hmm. There's writing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I've made some good friends. Very nice people. My neighbors are very nice. Really? Yeah. If I, if I don't like come out of the apartment for a couple of days they call and check on me oh that's good yeah that's nice and no. are, are they taking uh, the people in boulder uh taking the coronavirus seriously or they just figure we're not getting it so not to work some are some aren't it's not mandatory here that they have to wear a mask at all yeah it's all you know whether you decide to or not i, I wear a mask when i go to the market 
Do they you have I mean? <clears throat> at the market? Do they have those distancing decals on the yeah, ground? Yeah, they, they do, but they also only let in like a hundred people at a time. You know, there's all sorts of little yeah. rules, and people are pretty nice about it. You know, I've never seen anybody get upset. They just kind of stand on the red dot and yeah. wait their turn. Hey, listen, you know what? What? We've run out of time. How'd that happen? I don't know. And we're all. We didn't even talk about Massachusetts. Well, we'll talk about that next time. All right. Okay. All right. Ladies and ge right. gentlemen, Stephen Kravitz, he's not playing anywhere right now, but neither is any other comic I know. Thank you, Stephen. You Bye. Thanks, Alex. Bye-bye. Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everybody. How are you? I'm Alex. <clears throat> Throat's a little, uh, I don't know. I've got this thing in my throat. Uh, I, I have not been well lately. I got this thing in my throat. So I can't talk that well. So you're going to have to do all the talking for me tonight. Man, oh, man, I'm telling you, I, I have just been so tired lately. And I think what I got to do is I got to get out of this house. It really is time for me to get out of here. <coughs> Mm, and let me clear my throat as well. I've got it's strange. I've got somebody in the. Um, I've got, I, I I took my. I I set my waiting room up here on Zoom because uh, I don't want anybody getting on the air while I'm running all this other stuff and then having the audio go on and so on and so forth. So I, I put it in a waiting room mode, and there's somebody who's been sitting there in the waiting room, and I don't, I don't trust him. I don't know if we know him. Now let's see what happens if I admit him. Uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, Howard, uh, Howard, uh, do I, oh, I, uh, I know, do I know you at all, Howard, or is this? Uh, if I admit him. Uh, uh, let's see here. Are you there, Howard? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hi. Wait a minute. Let me see here. Let me uh, get people to see you a second here. Okay. Let me do this. Uh, there we go. Hi, That's Howard. Alex. Hi. Do, do I know you? You know, I used to come see you when I was a high schooler in well, San Mateo. I'd come see you in Cameo back when you were like with Joe Rogelski days. Oh, that was the old days. Yes, Joe yeah. Rogelski. Yes. David yes, Noodleman and I would show up. We'd show up with all the Jewish boys from AZA. Oh, really? Okay. Let me see here. Let me admit somebody else to the group here. See, I didn't I didn't know your uh, your name and so I I immediately opened up the waiting room. Let me also get rid of the waiting room here as well. <clears throat> mm. Get rid of the ah, waiting room. Hold there on, we go. What? What? I got to do something myself here. Go into gallery view. There we go. Um, what? Hey, hey, hey. He's got a problem. Ryan Neary, the old pro's got a problem. No way. He's got to figure out why he's not getting any sound, I bet. Wait a minute. Is it? Is it, is it where's the sound? Wait a minute. No, no sound. No sound, you can't hear. Oh, no. oh my God. Not one of the professionals, are you? Let me see here. Brian, Brian, wait a minute, hold on a second, Brian. You had some audio there. Your, your voice. Oh, I got it. Yeah. yeah. You got it? Yeah. Hey, you hello. Got, you got it? What was wrong? Yeah. What was wrong? Uh, you know, I always have my my computer part on mute because mm -hmm. of meetings and all that crap. So, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, anyway. Well, uh, I uh, still don't have a temperature. Good. Thank God. I was waiting for your text or something this weekend. No, I... I, I, <laughs> I was I, worried. Hmm? I don't have... Uh, I don't have a... Uh, apparently, it's not... COVID. Otherwise, I'd have a real good temperature by now. And I don't, but I'm hoarse and my eyes are tearing. And they say there's low pollen today, but there must be something else that's bothering the hell out of me because I am. Things don't change, do they, Howard? 
No. No. I'm still. I remember you saying that stuff when I was a kid. Oh man, but I'm telling you all Except day. Back then it was Zoloft. Oh well, I, that made things better. But anyways, my voice sound hoarse tonight. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, but it's better than you asking every five minutes if you have COVID and checking your temperature. So. Well, I was. Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I checked it a couple times today, and you know I was well within limits. So. You know. yeah, I'm, work, I'm working at a. I'm working in a new building we have, and they have the self serve thing. They have that, and you're supposed to walk up, and it tells you, and then they you get a little sticker for the day. So. Oh, self serve. Yeah, self serve. But if it if you have a temperature, it goes off, and it has pictures of you, like from each side, each angle. Yeah. And yeah. then I guess the the COVID police come and get you. you COVID want. police come and get you. <clears throat> yeah, let me take take a throat lozenge. I don't know why why I've got this hoarse voice tonight, but I would definitely have the COVID by now, right? Yep. Yes. I I counted it. I said if I go on Tuesday, I almost didn't go on tonight because I just wasn't feeling well. Oh my God! Then would be, then you <laughs> then would, I would feel so then, bad. Then I went, you know, um, uh, uh, what's his name? Brian would be like panicking. I would be. I would like just think if something bad happened, and they're going to blame me. Everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, no, I don't think I have the COVID or anything like that. But I want to know what it is. This is like it's like allergies of some sort. Either that. When you get a cold, when you get a cold, do you have like a sore throat and uh, lose your voice a little bit? Ever? I lose no? my voice a little bit, but I don't have it. I don't have a sore throat. Oh. I don't. I was all the burning eyes. Okay. Uh, tear, tearing eyes and um, you know the the uh, uh, little hoarseness and uh, that's it you know it's not like I'm you know I think what it is is I haven't been out in how many weeks about four months I think maybe I have to go out more I think my body is saying you need to breathe fresh air and not the stale air of the apartment. So. Maybe you're breathing like rat poop dust. Yeah, yeah no, mice, like, poop. mice poop dust. Well, there For is so one. long. There yeah. is a lot of mice poop because we've been working on the mice and the poop. Now, by the way, I noticed that Howard has a green screen in back of him. Do you do something with that green screen? I can make a different background. Yeah, yeah. But people can do that today with uh, without a green screen. Um, all these, uh, if somebody. I have other videos. Sometimes I use the green screen for that. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I I I ordered a green screen, and somehow it never got to me. And then when I went back to order it again, Amazon was out of them. And ever you can't find a green screen anywhere. I mean, good yeah, one. Yeah, B and H. Huh? No. Being a Juratorama. Uh, no. Not yeah, the, they, got, not, they got a kit for no, 30 No, no, not, not the one that I want. Oh, you want the one with like an old projector screen. The one that's a, No, it's not like a projector screen. It's got a spring-loaded thing in the back, and you bring oh. it up, and it holds by itself. Yeah. There's this none of those. up pretty the, easily. There are none of those to be found. Yeah. Well, how does yours open up? It folds up. You could basically... It folds in on itself and turns into a small round and then goes into a sack. Yeah. Like so a you reflector. Hide it when you don't need it and then you unfold it when you need it. Yeah. Like a silver, gold, or white reflector, you know, uh, that you'd use to reflect light up. No, the... it's a green screen, Phil. I know, but they got them that have the green crap on them. And uh, as, as, you know, just like. No, they've, uh, got the, they've got the round ones that are green screens, but you don't want one of those because you want one of these. That's what I ordered. Yeah. And uh, so then, then I went and looked in uh, Elgato, who made my lights, uh, doesn't have them anymore. You can't order them. And uh, I checked b and I checked Adorama. They're all out of them. Said, so check back and see when we have them. Did you tell them you were Jewish? No, no. Uh, you should have. You get special compensation. Well, you know, I bought the, the light that went out that went bad on me at Adorama. Yeah. But it was too late for me to take it back to them because there was a coronavirus going on and I wasn't about ready to go to Midtown to take the damn thing back. 
So I got a hold of Elgato, and they took it back, and I gave, they gave me an RMA number, and I'm waiting for them to send it back. It'll probably be two years. Yeah. I forgot I had dry cleaning, and I was going through my, my car, and I saw dry cleaning, and it was like two since the beginning of April, and I was worried that they got rid of it. So I went over there, and they said, like, next week they would have got rid of it, and they have so many people stuffed there from before the coronavirus. Thing. Did I tell you guys, maybe, maybe, maybe it happened since my last show. Hello, Kevin. Hello, Tony. Hello, Charlie. Hello, uh, John Larkin. Or uh, yeah, did you see oh, John or Pappy did you see O'Bannon, Pappy O'Bannon, <laughs> <laughs> Brian Neary. Anyway, did I did I tell you about the guy who I uh, who I have the um, own the photographs with? Yeah. Passed away. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Guy picked up the phone and said, "I said uh, I want to talk to Flash." That was the name he used, <laughs> and and the guy said. Uh, Who's this? And I said, this is Alex Bennett. I said, we're, we, we have a deal where we own some photographs together. He says, yes, I used to go out with Van Reinstein, and uh, I'm, I, he was a friend of mine, and he's dead. Wow. And I said, when did he die? He said, uh, March? When oh, no, May, May, May. Yeah. So did you find out where the storage well, No, no excuse me, March, March. Yeah, did what? find out the storage locker is. Oh, yeah, we know all that. So he, uh -huh. he knew about this thing, okay? Uh -huh. So he got a hold of the storage place and he told them the story, and they said, well, we won't, we won't get rid of the stuff. We'll hold on to it. And as soon as you, because he has Just to get, here's the deal. Talk about a lucky guy. Uh, Flash had three, three people in his will. If the first one didn't take it, wasn't around then the second one got it and the second one wasn't around the third one got it well he was the third one and the other two died <laughs> so he got a house worth about two million dollars <laughs> oh my god yeah just where boom. where did he live huh yeah. i don't where know i don't live? know where he lived we're gonna we're gonna talk more but uh, they told him as soon as you get all the money stuff figured out then you know pay us the back rent and we'll be okay right so that's it. Is this a full house already? Uh, yeah. It is a full house already. Mm. <clears throat> okay, hold on a second while I go get the full house thing. There we go. And de -de 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 -de. see, we got a full house, folks. Um, so th that was that deal. Okay. Now, the other day we were talking about various things that have become not good. By the way, if I'm a little loopy, it's because I'm lightheaded tonight, but not good. <laughs> Things like Aunt Jemima, Uncle Ben. I brought up Dixie Cups. They got rid of Dixie Cups? No, they're not getting... I haven't heard anything. Anybody hear anything about the Dixie Cups on the... On the uh... They're converting them to Dixie Chicks. Yeah, no, the Dixie Chicks have to change their name to the Chicks. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> because, after all, didn't uh, Antebellum... Lady Adam Bellum changed her name to Lady. Yeah, Lady A, I think. Lady, Lady A. A, yeah. Lady! So anyway, I've come up with another product. Wow. Uh, we just lost somebody? Yeah. Um, yeah. Damn it. Well. Oh, I, Jeff. Uh, Jeff. We Ray. Huh? Oh, no, Ray's here. Yeah. Right? yeah. Jeff was trying to get his audio going. Oh, I see. Push okay. the wrong button. <laughs> well, I'll leave it at a royal flush until you. But, um... I came up with another product, but gee, I hope they don't change the name of this product. It's been a major product. I, I know that this was a major product in the Philippines, and I would hate to see it go because it, it's, you know, it's kind of. <laughs> oh, yeah, shoe shine stuff? No, it's toothpaste. Oh, really? Darky toothpaste. Never heard of it. You never, never, you never heard of darky toothpaste, huh? Oh, Holly and Hazel. Whitey, horrible. Oh, whitey, whitey toothpaste. Let's see here. We didn't have that in Chicago. Yeah, <laughs> no. Where, where did you get that? Uh, a, a, Amazon? No, somebody gave, gave it, it to me. Trump rally. <laughs> somebody gave it to me. I think it may have been given to me by Bobby Slayton years and years and years ago. Because mm. I still have the toothpaste tube in it. <laughs> but the toothpaste feels like it's... I wouldn't want to try it. Okay, it's licorice toothpaste. 
Mm. Is it black? Yes. Oh, my really? God. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Ugh. I don't know if I even want to open this. It hasn't been opened in Smell years. It. <laughs> oh, well, wait a minute. It's white now. It's It's been in here so long, it's turned white. But anyway, it's darky toothpaste. and uh, saw a ghost. Hmm? It saw a ghost. Yeah. That's so, so, uh... That's it's not for black faces, for black teeth. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh... Let's see. That's here. just wrong. What's yeah. wrong? Oh, a darky <laughs> toothpaste? Yes, of course it's wrong. It's it's terrible. That's why I have it, and that's why I like it. And I suddenly realized the other night I was talking, we do a little, I do a little thing with Kevin and uh, and Josh and uh, 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 Patrick uh, on Saturday nights. We just talk to each other. That's all. And I brought this out, right? Uh, and I found it. It was just sitting on my shelf here. I had like kept it all these years because Does I knew one day, one day I'd have Charlie as a guest on my show, and I would show him this. So. Hey, does it have the good housekeeping seal? No, no, oh. no. And uh, uh, <clears throat> so uh, you know, among other things that are going to be in trouble, that's got going to be out of business soon too. <clears throat> there we go. There's there's Jeff. We got you. How are you doing, guys? Yeah. What happened? Did you have trouble with your sound there? Yeah. Doing something or other. Um, God, I didn't watch. The, did anybody watch the speech tonight? Yeah, um, it was almost a repeat of Saturday. Oh, really? Did you watch some of it? Yeah, most of it. Well, I was taking a crap. What was he doing? His greatest know. hits again? Yeah, pretty much. Kind of like your show. <laughs> I heard a great I read a great quote this weekend uh, so, so to paraphrase uh, the manager of Spinal Tap uh, Trump's popularity is not waning it's just becoming more selective <laughs> That's good. Uh, he, he hasn't had a very good month yeah. you know? year well he's it, it's been a pretty bad yeah. year for him yeah. if you know, if there's such a thing as a bad year for Trump, because Trump in his mind of minds doesn't think there's any problem, you know. Mm. Now he's wrong. You know. Um, it, he was getting pretty hot today. I was waiting for his uh, makeup to start running. Oh, really? Well, he was indoors, though, wasn't he, inside that church? Yeah, it was in Arizona. Yeah. But I don't think the air conditioning was helping him at all. Oh, really? Was he sweating up a storm? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. good for him. Good it's for 108 him. in Arizona today. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, that should be. It was 100 and something or other. He's, he, but he was in a church, so I'm sure, you know, they were shooting bolt lightning through the through the sky. Yes, Phil, we stuff. know you have a green screen. Oh, all right. Yeah, this is a cheap green screen. Oh, that looks better now. <laughs> the bath towel. Howard, don't you feel <laughs> terrible that you spent maybe a couple hundred bucks on that thing and he only spent 30 cents on that <laughs> it wasn't that Bourbon. expensive you know, it was pretty cheap on amazon but that was long before covid anyway i mean it really uh uh he he had a uh, to begin with uh, the where were the million people that were waiting to get in the other night <laughs> on the street at the uh, biden funeral yeah. 6,200 out of 19,000, they said. 6,200. 6,200 out of 19,000, less than a third of what that building holds. Uh, I heard that, that, reports that there were 12,600 out of 19,000. No, no, it was 6,200. No, you, you heard that. See, you heard that twice. That's why. It would be, and that, that, and, that, and that, 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 that was the police estimate. Yeah. Okay. And they're always <laughs> they going to es estimate high. Yeah. And then they said the was... bill over crowd that they were supposed to have. Yeah, well they they had they had they had that other stage ready to go which they were tearing down while before they even started the other one. Yeah, 25 <laughs> showed up there. The spillover was invited in and that what was not filled was the nosebleed seats. Phil, and and what was not deck. filled was two thirds of the Phil, seats in that it. place. Second the and the third deck. Don't show it to and the floor. Me. Phil, I'm telling you, they did the crowd count on that place. 6,200 is the number they give as being there to see him. The rest were empty seats. 
So, so my that, daughter came in about two thirds. Fifty. Wait a minute. Look, look, look Kevin. Look, 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 more Kevin. than Biden gets. Look, my my Phil. fifteen year old daughter came in about two thirds of the way through the speech, and she said, "There was a bunch of people, on, a bunch of teenagers that went and bought a bunch of tickets, fake, you know, online, and and fake bought tickets, and they they took up all the tickets and didn't show up." And then I heard it later on the news that that actually happened. I said, what the yeah. hell did you know? But it doesn't matter. The, the overflow is free. Yeah. yeah. The overflow yeah, I know. is that free. Was the There's no excuse. I'm, I'm talking about the real I, ticket. And, and, I know, but that's what I mean. I heard that too. And I'm like, yeah, but the overflow is free. If people couldn't get a ticket, they would have gone to the overflow. There was it's only 25 ticket. people in the overflow. <laughs> you know, you, you don't. squeeze them in. <laughs> you know, if you think that the overflow is going to be full and that, you know, that the other uh, venue is going to be full, plus with COVID and all of those things and the scare. Oh, here come the excuses, <laughs> Phil. Here come the excuses. Yeah, well, you know they, they the, couldn't the, find the, enough face masks. The Trump people there don't. Doing, there wasn't enough sanitizer. Yeah, you know, Trump people stuff. don't stay away from that because of the COVID. They don't believe in the COVID. Though. I, I would have, but they don't believe in Trump anymore either. Uh, I, I would have. No. I wouldn't have gone. Really? Yeah. But the point is, Even if it was he was here. an idiot to hold it in the first place. In this well, atmosphere? So. Well, you know. we'll see in two weeks. What do you mean they we'll see, what do you mean we'll see in two off, weeks? Too. It doesn't matter what happens in two weeks, <laughs> Phil. Yeah, I hope nobody gets sick. But they were certainly asking for it. Well, we'll see. Tonight was Too actually worse. Tonight was worse because they were closer to each other. They were close to each other. The place was filled, wasn't it? Yeah, it was packed, and there was about three thousand of them, three or four thousand of them. Yeah, but it's a hundred uh, degrees. Thousand in there. It's a hundred degrees, though. It's gonna magically just go away. A hundred degrees. Well, yeah. well, we had that magic spray that killed all the COVID in there. Remember? Oh That's yeah, right. yeah. yeah. Said, yeah, yeah the had, guys, uh, they got they, they, they the preacher. Ninety nine point nine percent. It must have been the silver solution that yeah. Baker. The, the, pre the preacher. Yeah, the, the, the preacher. Ionized it. It's the, some kind of ionized it or something. Yeah. Did Please somebody throw, say it was a church? Hey, where, don't, don't shout yeah. over me. I can't talk tonight. Church. My throat's trash. Uh, the, uh, the guys who ran the church, the preachers, said mm. that they had a special thing, I don't know, ionizer or something like that, that was yeah. going to kill 99% of the COVID. This I've got one, too. It's a, <laughs> oh, it's a pink crystal rock. It's a pink... A pink Is that it? So they found the, the cure. Water. And it they changes found the all cure. the ions in the ground, yeah. yeah. We should inject that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Let's Ready face it, Phil. Your fine. guy isn't looking too good. He's even losing his base. He's even losing his base. He hasn't lost me. Did you see him come off the helicopter that night? Looked like he was drunk oh. coming from the bar. Yeah, he was pretty... His tie was all undone. He had his mega hat in his hand. Yeah, I, just I usually look him. like that after I came out of a woman's apartment after fucking for five hours. <laughs> <laughs> he, he joined the Mile High Club there. <laughs> he did not yeah, look happy coming off there. that plane. Or whatever you know. named it. Malaria. Malaria, yeah. Uh, it, it, no, it was not a happy night for him. And um, it... Uh, you know, there was all kinds of denials going on. The best denial I heard, you ready for this one? Fox said, okay, they had the biggest ratings they've had on a Saturday night in the history of the I network. Yeah, you see Kaylee uh, say, wowee. And now, that, a big wowee, nobody watches Fox News on Saturday night. That's where they put all the dog shows and the... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, the uh, the vacuum cleaner yeah. ads. Well, you know. they also repeated the point, damn thing three times. Seven point five million views mm -hmm. uh, or uh, viewers on on the uh, Fox thing, and I don't know how many on the internet. Because they repeated it three times, and they counted that three times. Yeah, mm -hmm. and there was another thing too, Phil, that you didn't you didn't seem to be aware of. MSNBC and CNN didn't carry it. <laughs> They well, they, what they did is they carried the story, but they yeah. and they showed him inside, but they didn't run any of the speech. So if somebody like me wanted to go hear the speech, where did I have to go? 
Fox News. Fox. Yeah. So I that's a risk. You know, you know, CNBC and MSNB, they, they are they are such whores. You would think that they would have covered it to get some eyes. No, I think their theory is that was a political speech and therefore amounted to a political advertisement. And he, they felt that he should pay for that sort of stuff. And I agree. Well, you know, if Fox is stupid enough to give it to him for free, and not only once, but three times during the night because they have no programming on Saturday night, you know. Well, they got wrestling. No, they don't. Yeah, don't they have big time wrestling? No, no, no. that's yeah, over, run, that's over on uh, that's over on Fox Network, right yeah. the network. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, well, Phil, just to let you know, they stopped calling it big time wrestling 50 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> or just George. I mean, I do the same thing. Hey, Haystack got, Calhoun. Yeah, Haystack <laughs> Calhoun. The, uh, the the what are those brothers uh, with the with the? Oh, never mind. Yeah. yeah. The Iron Sheiks. Those are my Ray favorite. Ray Stevens. Thanks, uh, Iron Iron no, we love the Iron Sheik. Pepper Gomez. Yeah. Love the Iron, the Iron yeah. Sheik. Didn't he get he got uh, he got uh, fired for drugs? Right? If I remember oh, correctly. Really? Huh? Do you know what we're talking about, Jeff, when we say the Iron Sheik? Sure. You really? Oh, good. Yeah. There but are two of them. Then uh, how about Randy? Um, Savage? No. Yeah, Randy, some of the. He had a, a well, there's second. Randy Savage. Savage. I knew him and his snake. Um, <laughs> let's see here. There was. Uh, 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 who was the guy with the kilt? Um, Roddy, Roddy, oh, Roddy, 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 Roddy Piper, Piper, who I loved. I just thought he was the best. He was the best. I thought he was the best wrestler, tumbler in the business. Yeah, these guys movie. died young. They Live was a good movie. Yeah. They Live was a really good movie, yes. Yeah, they live, yeah. That was a good movie. Yeah. God, I'm lightheaded tonight. What is this? Huh. Mm. I don't know. I, I think they're also this. blaming the. The violent crowd of riot of, of you know the rioters and everything. They were saying he, something about that, and CNN went, is showing down the block, and there's like nobody there. The stage is empty. <laughs> yeah, it was a. Did pretty, you see him arrest it, the woman, the art teacher? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But did they stand on her neck? No. Uh, um, he it, just wanted to go in, but why didn't they let her in? I couldn't figure that out. Now I'll tell you what they wanted to do. Lafayette Park, which is right across from the White House, right, mm -hmm. has a statue in it of uh, 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 Jackson, Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson. Um, they wanted to tear it down, and I think they should have, because Andrew yeah. Jackson was a horrible person. He killed Indians. He was a horrible, horrible human being. Are, you know, this history that they want to erase... Sometimes we should have never erected a statue to, to him in the first place. They, he was a president of the United States. No, Plus, fuck him. So's Trump. He murdered, he murdered yeah, and, and you know what they recommended with all of the statues that they took down? It was Donald Trump Jr. said they ought to put up statues of, of his father. Uh, you know who erased history was all of these, quote, historians that, that took all the riots and lynchings and stuff out of the U.S. history books. But that's who's fucking erasing history. Absolutely well, right. And you want to know something about erasing? You want to know something about erasing? Jackson was responsible for erasing endless numbers of Indians. He decided he wanted to annihilate every Indian in America, every Native American. Yep. You know, you that's can't true. Erase, that's true. Well, you can erase history, but I wouldn't suggest it. And, I know, don't consider him history we have I, to remember. But that is, he is I not history just, we have to remember. Tear down that oh, fucking statue. You, and then I heard, I heard from Kevin the other night. They were trying to... Uh, well, I was born in North Beach in San Francisco. And at the top oh, of the um, hill is Coit Tower. Okay, on Telegraph Hill. Mm -hmm. And in, uh, in front of Coit Tower is this circular driveway. It's, what can we call it? we all call it a driveway, Kevin? I guess so. Yeah, yeah. It's a little Broken. parking. And little in the circle. middle of it is a statue of Columbus. They tried to paint that red. Now, they that did. is part of my youth. You know? They did paint it red. You Nipero yeah. Serra, they, turned, they uh, took that statue that was on 280 and they ripped it down. Why? Did they get it? Oh, uh, really? 
Why? Did yeah. they get it, Phil? It's been gone for years. No, 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 it no, no. It's still there. Oh, they no, it's not. Writing? Yes, it is. I, my yeah. friend's dad designed yeah. that. I drove I by it, not, but... No, it, it's, oh, it's there. It's still there? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Will yeah. somebody yeah. decide whether it's still there or not there? Well, no, it's there. It was I'll be right back. It was I used to put uh, a 49er helmet on it every year when they went to the Super Bowl. Got to yeah. put a mask on them now. Is the Flintstone cell still there? Uh, yes, yeah. they did. Uh, they did yes. take down Dude. Unipro Sarah in Carmel today because uh, they were going to rip that down. It's 94 years old. Wow. Well, well, wait a minute. What, what's the the beef with Unipro Sarah? Father Unipro Sarah, by the way. Indians. Well, no, what he, what he did is he... You know, they're, 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 he, get, they're going after everything. And Unipero Serra established all the missions up and down the coast. And they were all yep. a day's ride from each other, I believe, was the way they existed. Mm -hmm. uh, it's getting out of hand. The, yeah. Uh, and I don't think he killed any Native Americans to do it, or Mexicans, or anybody else. The so problem I'll, is the people don't, these people that are ripping shit down don't know the history, and they're just ripping shit down. How about Ulysses Grant? Uh, now, uh, he was the first president to have Booker T. Washington uh, dine at the White House, and he, he was a trusted advisor. Uh, and so, and, and I think, Washington you, I think you're, first. I think you're wrong. I think the first president ever to have a black person dine at the White House was Theodore Roosevelt. Uh, I, th I, what I, I thought I heard it was, it was Grant. No, I haven't. I haven't heard that. But uh, also Theodore Roosevelt, they wanted to tear down his statue in New York uh, in front of. What, well, it was it was it was one in which he is on a horse and there's an Indian, a Native American on one side of him and a black person on the other side. Now, I don't know what they were supposed to represent, but they considered that racist. They considered yeah. the, the, the statue itself racist, not necessarily Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah. Uh, you know, originally this was over Civil War uh, statues, and uh, uh, and and that was what it was about. And as I think it was uh, Charlie or Kevin said, that now it's gotten out of hand. And uh, and this is a this is what they do when people want to overthrow the government. They think that if they can take the symbols of that government and destroy them that it will uh, cause uh, the people to lose confidence in the government. And, uh, you know, that's how Marxism, you know. Oh, okay. So you, now you've, you've brought it all back. You've, all, you've really brought it down into the toilet by saying this is some kind of um, Marxist movement. Hey, hey, Howard, what do you think? I don't agree. You don't agree? Why don't you agree? I think Phil's full of it. Mm. I think I think you came a long way to say that, and I appreciate it. Hey, uh, I'm not the one sitting in front of a green screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you're the you one really that only owns my crap behind me. Ah, uh, yeah. You're the only yeah. one that owns a piece of cloth, you know. Uh, yes, yeah. uh, yes, Ray. I, my cloth. I, you I don't. just wanted. I just wanted to say that I actually agree with Phil. And. Uh, I don't think that these things should be destroyed. I think that if they want to, they can put them somewhere else, like in a museum mm -hmm. and say what they are, but they shouldn't be destroyed exactly. because you can't, you should not erase history. Plus it's uh, all museum. Well, you know something, if that history has a lot of questionable history about it, you know. Well, then, then, then France should get rid of everything that uh, represents Napoleon because he killed a lot of people uh, for no reason, just to get um, well, every country money, can get rid of what greed. they want to get rid of. And a yeah, lot of other countries, they're having this whole statue problem too. You know, yeah. they're starting to have that problem. So, mm -hmm. you know. well, I don't know anybody in France that hates Napoleon, even though he destroyed the hundreds well, of. Why should of we? Lives. Why should we like Napoleon? Well, he brought France uh, the Napoleonic Code, highways, water. Uh, he was amazing you know, uh, domestically. He made short guys by looting, by looting other countries. <laughs> and if you go to the Louvre, it's full of stuff that he stole. And they love him. So I'm just selling. I'm just I think saying. the point is that, that, that fire at the it's, not, it's not a matter of whether it was good or bad. It's a matter that it happened. And 
those things represent good oh, and way. bad. Everybody, and yeah. That they should be left there so that we can learn how we fucked up and how we, you know, I, did I, I, every, did every, everybody, everybody, by the I way, agree. by the way, everybody, uh, agree, everybody, take a I drink, agree. take a drink. Mm-hmm. Phil asked, didn't Louvre have a fire? Yeah, I think it did. No. Fire? Yeah, it's the Louvre? Louvre? No, yeah, I, he's thinking well, of no I mean, it's tr- so huge. If there was a fire, it would only burn like yeah, a few minute, rooms, and the rest yeah, of it would be burned down. No, but no. I, I thought there was a fire, maybe about eight months, ten, uh, yeah. a year You're ago. You're thinking of Notre Dame, Phil? No, no. Well, I knew Notre Dame's was, roof had a fire. No, this is. I think they had something at the Louvre. I don't. And, I don't remember. It. And uh, La Familia also didn't. Wasn't Let's it? see here. Well, Louvre. it could be that there was a fire at the Louvre, but it wasn't. If it was, it wasn't huge because it didn't make national news very much was and there a the fire at, gigantic okay here's the question <laughs> on the people also ask was there a fire at the louvre water and fire will not stop the louvre from reopening june 8th black cloud stained the paris the parisian skyline on june 6th after a fire broke out on the street adjacent to the louvre museum all right, well, I st- hey no, no drinks for you no wait a minute wait a minute no the louvre wasn't on fire Still that dealing with the aftermath of last week's flooding. The uh, Louvre is once again news because of the blaze. But they wanted to confuse you. Well, there was a fire across the street from the Louvre. <sighs> oh, God. The that Trumpian mind. The yeah. Trumpian mind. Yeah, that yes, Howard. Close. Howard had, had his hand up. Did you say you want to say something, Howard? I was just saying he was reaching for something. Yeah, he always does. He always hey, does. There was a fire at the Louvre, you know. <laughs> it's a well-trained Trumpist mind. You can always find truth in something. True. I mean, it's true. At least there's a kernel of truth in what I say and what Trump says. But, you know, in what you guys say, it's you know, off the wall. It's mm. just emotional <laughs> like lather. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to turn my. Uh, <clears throat> Phil, I just agreed with you about the statues, dude. I'm sorry, I don't see a okay. kernel of truth in anything I, I that Phil you, said. I give you that. <laughs> I, I I don't think the protesters should be taking them down. I think no. that the city should have taken them down well yeah. before this time and put them into museums. They you should, know, they, I they agree with take, that. That's yeah, what I think. This action to do it. They should have covered it. I, well, here, here's here's my here's my thinking. Here's my thinking about statues. They're all iconography anyway. Uh, and uh, as time passes on, they lose their significance. And I don't know that you know. I mean, I think there are certain people that they're making a big mistake because they weren't as terrible as you think they were. Yes, Washington owned slaves at a time when that was part of the economy. But he didn't treat his slaves badly, and as a matter of fact, I believe upon his death they were all emancipated. Yes, they were. I, yeah. I think they should rip down the thinker. Why? Because he's naked. Right. Yeah. Hey, that's hey so where does it end? I mean, if you don't like paint, if there are paintings you don't like, you rip them down. Uh, if there are plays like that you don't like, you can't he do them. Like I mean, this, and this, that could be a white power sign. You know? Bill takes objection to people thinking, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> Phil, this is why you're supposed to go to a museum to see exactly, things. Exactly, exactly. See things you like and see things that you don't like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Things oh, that make you think. Talking about things oh, that you should is like. Is that thinking? Sorry. Yeah, yeah that's thinking. Uh, who's your friend, that, uh, Alex, that does the porn? Jeremy. Uh, Ron Jeremy. Ron yeah, Jeremy. he just got accused of uh, rape. Uh, yeah, three women. Yeah. Where? Today he got arrested or something for rape. <laughs> Mm. Being, raped three, by, yeah. being raped by that's, Ron, you know, by Ron Jeremy. Well, that's assault. <laughs> Damn, it's like getting beat with a baseball bat. Thing. What would you be doing <laughs> going to his room? 80 years old or something? How, he's, how yeah, he's like almost as old as I am, for crying out loud. <clears> in, <throat> the, uh, in, in the picture they had of him, in the, in the, uh, wherever it was. It's just sexist to say this, but if you're going to Ron Jeremy's room after a party, what do you think? No, no. What do you think? No, it was at a bar. It was at a bar. Oh, really? The same bar, all three women at different times. I read the article today. Ah. Yeah. 
I don't know how he did it in the bar. He says he didn't ever did anything like that. Well, so. probably didn't. <coughs> probably didn't. Excuse me. My, my, <clears throat> I'm trying to clear my throat. I can't. That's bad. You're, you're trying to get money for Ron Jeremy, so you say he ran. Well, oh, he was according to Alex, he's never spent a cent of what he made. Right. He uh, uh, he he actually uh, has been charged. Yeah. With forcibly raping three women and sexually assaulting another in separate incidents dating back to 2014. Mm. Wow. He was charged with three counts of forcible rape and forcible penetration by a foreign object. American Patriot says he's 67. He is not 67. I'm 70. And I was a teenager when I heard of Ron Jeremy in, 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 in porn films. So he is not 67. And the, Jer Ron Jeremy's manager told CNN in a phone interview that he's dropping the actor as a client. Now, when you've got a <laughs> porn agent <laughs> dropping you, you know you're in trouble. You know, it's kind of like when you get fired from McDonald's, where do you go after that? There is, you know, that's the Cabinet. bottom. You, 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 what, are you going to work your way back up? You know. <clears throat> How you doing, uh, Tony? I'm all right. I can't even, I haven't, I haven't lost my voice tonight. I'm all right. I'm a little worried about the COVID test, but it should be okay. It's, uh, really? what, why are you worried about it? Well, because I don't... That thing going up the nose. It, I didn't want to it's gone up. It's gone up uh, today. <clears throat> but yesterday, the count of deaths in New York State, I'm 10. That's nice. We got it on it's now up, up. It's back up to 27, I think. We'll see what it does tomorrow. But uh, the number of hospitalizations has gone down. We're almost going under 1,000. Uh, I heard Fauci say that uh, when you have the uh, uh, more cases, the deaths trail. So th what happens is as cases go down, uh, sometimes the deaths go up because they, uh, they, they trail. Uh, There's still the hospital. Yeah. 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 So now that you're getting a few more deaths and lower cases, that may be what Fauci was talking about. Well, I mean, in We're fact- We're doing it, the opposite in Texas. It's going on. Oh, the it's, cases are exploding, but the deaths haven't gone up yet. Uh, what What did I hear about prison? In the prison population, there's a lot more COVID. Uh, oh, it's horrible. You've heard that, Phil? Yeah, but they, they said also- You've heard uh, that? Three, three prisons in Texas. Where have you that, been living, on Mars? I heard it a while ago. I'm sorry I didn't express it early enough in my career for you to enjoy the well, I wish you had. <clears throat> Listen to John Oliver's last episode of This Week Tonight. That's what he's talking about the whole time. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I certainly didn't hear it from him. <laughs> well, he was talking about just, you know, what happens to the prison population and, and why it runs so rampant, you know. No, it's really good, I'm saying, Phil. It's like really full of good information. <clears throat> I know you don't like him, but I mean, no, he doesn't like good information. <laughs> no, just oh. drop the soap in the shower in the prison, and it won't be a problem. Well, actually, soap was a big part of his broadcast. They, they're like lacking in soap. Yeah, yeah they they, they, they charge you for soap in prison, yeah. and they run out of soap. Picking it yeah. up in the shower <laughs> on the floor. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know what's starting to scare me though is that if you think about it. With all these cases that are spiking, like Alex, our area, remember Florida don't want to take us? Mm -hmm. Now Florida's spiking like crazy. What, I mean, they're going to have to, sh are they going to not shut down in those states? I mean, they're going to be forced to if the hospitals get inundated. Well, there's are an they idiocy that's going on here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that idiocy uh, is um, politicizing the COVID crisis. Now, when I say politicizing it, the fact that Trump supporters, for some reason, don't use masks because they think they're political, and they're not. They have nothing to do with politics. They have to do with your consideration towards somebody else, you know? Uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of people who don't wear masks. Uh, and they're not necessarily Trump supporters. I was at the post office today. Uh, Phil, and all I was saying is like, for instance, the other night at this thing, 
at the comedy concert that he held, um, it was there was n virtually no one there wearing masks, and because and when they interviewed them, it was like it was a political issue. I'm not wearing a mask. That's what the uh, did you notice do. the age of a lot of the people that weren't wearing masks there that they were younger? There were as every age there that wasn't wearing masks. Phil, most nope. of the audience were not wearing masks. Yeah, Can I, yeah I noticed that. And I no, no, that. nobody was wearing masks. Almost no one. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. Listen to this, Alex. And I, it, this would be, it is different because me and my brother took him over to the cemetery Sunday, right? So we let her stay in the car. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you leave her there? She's not dead yet. Did you no, leave we, her there? But I'll tell you why. When we <laughs> yeah, sure. this, like, because I'll tell you why, Alex. Me and my brother get out, and the guy was really busy because the bar was there. So we get out, and they're letting people in on the line. He picks them out. And, Alex, two people walk in, and they were, say, in your early 50s. And I'm going to say it. They look like hillbillies. Like, you can see, the, like, the riffraff. Alex, no masks. Everybody in the place had masks on. So my brother goes to pay. He was behind him, but we social distance. And they just looked like, you know, here we come. They just fell off the turnip truck. But they had the no mask. They had the attitude. Like, you can see it. And then after they walk out, right, my brother says, how come there's no, I says, you just served them. No, there was no mask. Shouldn't they be not in the store? The lady says, well, what can we say to them? And other people were, like, looking at them. Then I went to the pharmacy, right, to get medicine for my mom. This was the other day. So they were letting one person in at a time. So I go out, and a guy in front of me, he turns to me and says, I said, well, you know, he goes, one person at a time. What's with this? I said, well, I said, I don't want to make conversations. You can tell already where this guy is leading from. I said, well, it's just for safety reasons. He goes, well, I don't really buy into this. So then he comes into the store. He don't buy into it. He comes out. I go in next to get my mom's medicine. And then I turn around while I'm paying out. Guy walks in, the mask down, standing like that, and the lady goes, you have to wait outside. I'm not waiting outside. Why do I have to wait outside? So I paid, and I walked right out. They're not listening. They're just like just doing whatever the fuck they want. My yeah. mother-in-law works at Home Depot, mm -hmm. and she has to be the one that clicks Probably. in the people, you know? She's 80 years old. I just went to her birthday <laughs> party Saturday night, 80 years old, and she's telling us these stories. Does she carry a gun? And she no, she's she's German, and she's she's got a heavy German accent, oh. and she gets confronted all the time. And she said she had to stand up to this guy that was you know stood over the top of her, the other night, uh, Friday night I guess it was the night before we were there on Saturday, and somebody actually called her a Nazi, an eighty year old lady called her a Nazi for you know doing this. I said you should have called your manager. She goes hell no, I told him to get his ass out of the store. You know, and these people are just going nuts just for having to put on a damn mask. I said, yep. Mom, you're going to get yourself hurt. Just cool, calm down. She's a tough German lady. Yeah. And uh, idiots, man. You know, it's just people just get stupid. Yeah. Well, they see. You know, there's they there's see. a lot of stuff out there where they're saying it's a hoax. And, you know, if you look on YouTube and, and all, all of it's not just Trumpers. There's all sorts of people. Oh, that, yeah. It, trying, you know, it, you're right. It's not just Trumpers, but the, there's so many people out there that, that are, you know, it's 5G. It's the land, you know, the, the, the world is flat, the whole bit, you know. You know, I was at the post office today, like I said earlier, and the guy behind me, he's talking and he's snorting and he's got his mask on, but his yeah, nose yeah, is exposed. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, I, I turned around. He was a bigger black guy and i turned around and i went with my mask like this and i said <laughs> yeah. and, you know, he gave me the look of death you know yeah. I, don't care. I mean you know, he's not going to intimidate me and uh so you know I, but i said hey you know what pull it up well you should explain if you if you had to say something to him you should have said i'm asking you to pull it up for me because uh you know you, you should not want to give me your germs well i <clears> acted <throat> as if he didn't know it was down, so I wasn't trying to be uh, pushy or anything. I, you know, I just, you know, hey, by the way, it's not covering your nose. But it's you know, actually, he, for him, because he had his nose exposed and he could get exposed. Right. That's and, the point. And, and behind us, there was some lady putting stamps on envelopes, and she was hacking and coughing, <laughs> but she had some sort of crappy homemade uh, thing on, and he was oh, kind of. You know, motioning about that, and uh, you know, I, 
so I acted like, hey, you know, pull your mask up. You, you don't realize it's not over your nose. But then he gives, gives me the look of death. Hmm. You know? yeah, yeah. Going on everywhere. You know what I call those people? What's that? Customers. Idiots. Yeah. yeah. Customers. Yeah. Oh, yeah, customers. exactly. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> They'll get tested. <laughs> Future corpses. <clears throat> oh, man. Oh, so, so yesterday, five people got shot right out in front of my apartment at like 2 o'clock. No, they, I saw that. Yeah. They, they, I literally, I tried to walk out, you know, right after it happened, and there was a guy literally laying right in front of the front door to my, you know, my apartment, and there was cops were trying to, you know, I mean, the bullets were like, like went right through the guy's legs and one went right through this one guy's stomach, but they all lived. But they were wearing masks. They all, they were, at least they were wearing masks. Now, was that in Minneapolis? No, no, no. His, John, your building is called the oh. Book Repository. <laughs> <laughs> where's the, where's the walk. Huh? Where's Bill the walk? What? Yeah, Henry. No, it's right in the Tenderloin in San Francisco. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's the closest I've ever heard of it. It was like, fuck, man. It was, I mean, I heard it, bam, bam, bam. And I go, wow, that's not fireworks. 100 people. The third floor, and I looked out my window, and I see, like, four, four, four guys just laying on the sidewalk. <laughs> I heard about that. I yeah. in Chicago uh, uh, this weekend, last weekend, and one, and one of them was, like, a three-year-old baby and things like that. Uh, you know, it. it yeah. It's uh, it's not good. And these these are all cities where uh, you know they want to defund the police. Uh, you know. Uh, yeah, but it's it's just the drugs. You know, there's so much drugs and stuff. And drugs drugs in San Francisco have been decriminalized. I mean, you know, they, they bust drug dealers. These guys are off. They're back on the street in two two days, two three days later. They're back on the street. There's no bail anymore. Uh, you yeah. get busted. They don't set a bail. It's, you know, they just release you because yeah. you're the post bail. Yeah. Wow. Well, well, just, anyway. Um, a liberal DA. Oh, that guy, not only is he liberal, he's the son of, uh, uh, what, what, uh, what, 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 what guy, uh, a couple is he the son of? He, uh, uh, one, some guy that they were in, in an organization. Terrorists. And they, mm-hmm. they set some bomb. They were called the Weathermen. Yeah. And they the set bombs off in the late 60s. Mm-hmm. His parents, both his parents were members, and they were driving the car when the Weather bomb. Weather Underground? Yeah. Weather, I think that was it. Yeah, something the like that. You know, when I lived on Green and Lion Street on the uh, on the, on the the steps that go up to Broadway, they uh, I, I thought it was the SLA, but they bombed that gate. Uh, right above me, and it blew out the windows uh, of my apartment. Wow. What was this, in the 60s? Uh, no. Well, in speaking the 70- of blowing up things. 77. Jeez, can I talk? Yeah. Can I say yeah. something here? Yeah. I mean, you want to run the show? Because I'm not feeling I'm well anyway. I can just sit back and do nothing. I was oh, answering yeah. a question, but if you don't want me here, I, I have no problem. No, leaving. that's not a question, Phil. Oh, is he, is he going to hang up on us now? No, I wasn't going to hang up. I'm just going to say if if I'm disturbing. No, but I mean, I try to say something, and you just keep on. Well, I had a conversation with John. Isn't that, the, you know, he asked me a question. When was this? Well, when but this who's, the, who's, the, who's the ringleader of this show? <laughs> you are. No, who's Phil the, is apparently, the, Howard. No, nah, it's, you know, look, uh, it's okay. Just... Sorry, Alex. Yeah. What? There's no mute on this thing oh. there's no mute on it yeah I, I can unmute you anyway let me see let me un, un, unmute him uh, <clears throat> anyway I'm very lightheaded tonight I don't know and my throat and I'm not sick I'm not sick it's kind of warm isn't it it is warm in here yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and they, I have the air conditioner on but it ain't doing shit I don't know why what's the temperature outside it was muggy today yeah. It's 75 outside. Anyway, I think that's also the this as well. Who who just do we lose? Oh, we, oh, John Larkin. Is, he always has problems with his light. Yeah, that light. It's on like a timer, <coughs> or like a motion thing or something. You know, oh, really? you can mute yourself, and then you hold down your space bar, and it will temporarily unmute you. Huh. Oh. So you got to actually push it like you would in a radio in a in a 
radio station. Anyway, where was I? Oh, so anyway, in our neighborhood, the firecrackers, mm. the fireworks, and it's not just our neighborhood. I found out it's happening in Brooklyn. It's happening downtown. And it was like, okay, a couple of days before Juneteenth, I understand. It's, uh, it's like, uh, you know, July 4th for black people. It's an Independence Day. You, 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 know, you, play, you do fireworks. I'm not going to be a party pooper. But hey, at 4 o'clock in the fucking morning... Full blast. Wow. It makes the animals, like dogs, uh, go crazy. It's really not... Well, I mean, uh, makes people have, uh, have um, what do you call it? Um, uh, what's the thing you Bad get night. in war? Where you're, you, you're oh, shell-shocked. PTSD. People who are shell-shocked have PTSD and so on. They go under a bed somewhere. They, you know. But the thing is that I don't mind you doing it till midnight. I'll give you that. I don't want to be a party pooper. I don't want to be an old fart who lives in your neighborhood. But for Christ's sake, please knock it off by midnight. Am I wrong? I hate it out. I can't stand those sounds. Was it happening out in your neighborhood too? Yeah, because I sleep in the back now so I can hear it. Mm -hmm. And I hate it. They've been boom, boom, boom. And you're trying to watch some. And it's a move. I hear it. It's like, enough already with this bullshit. That isn't fireworks. Yeah, well, no. What I hate about in- what I hate about it in Harlem is that I used to be able to go to sleep with the guns going off. Really? Okay. Mm-hmm. And it's obliterated the sound of the guns going off. So I, you know. Yeah, especially the M80s. It was all quiet, and then all of a sudden, boom. Oh no! But these are fireworks, and I mean they're amazing little fireworks shows. Yeah. I mean, I don't know who bought all these fireworks. You know, and where they got the money to buy those fireworks or where they got them. But, I mean, they're legitimate fireworks shows. Big splaying things that go off and then another one that goes off and whatever. Is it, it's not happening up in, uh, in Connecticut, is it, Jeff? No, no. You can buy them in Chinatown. Yeah. Did you live in, uh, in New York in 76, Alex? No. When they uh, had the um, uh, bicentennial and they had the big fireworks over uh, New York Harbor and the Statue of, Liber- Statue of Liberty. Yeah. Yeah. But well, what we does that have it. to do with this? No, it, that's kind of a beautiful thing. It was uh, Iacocca put that together. Yeah, but I, I, we're not talking about that. We're talking oh, no, about no. people who are blowing off fireworks in my neighborhood and they're doing it. This is Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. Juneteenth. Well, we're not even a Juneteenth anymore. We're a June this. You know, whatever yeah. the 20th would be, or 22nd. I mean, Juneteenth, gone, and they're still blowing these fireworks off till 4 in the morning. Are they legal over there? No. Apparently they are now. Well, because they're illegal here, but when I used to go to the city, the, to the clubs, like on 4th of July weekend, yeah, 4th of July night, and you go up 101 north to San Francisco, yeah. just like every city is just like nonstop. All the way up. I mean, I don't want to. Com- I don't want to complain, but Jesus Christ, you know, there's there's a cutoff time. There are people who want to sleep. There are people on Sunday night who have to go to work the next morning. Okay, yeah. and you're blowing your fireworks off. I mean, I uh, it woke Marjorie up, and I couldn't get. Oh yes, John. Why do people come to San Francisco on Fourth of July? It's always foggy. You can't see the fireworks. <laughs> yeah. Actually, you can. Depends. Yeah. Depends on the on the weather. I it's went. I fun. saw. I, I had a friend who had a boat. And we got in the boat, and went out into the bay, and you could actually go out within a certain perimeter. You know what I'm talking about, Howard? And sit there and watch the uh, the fireworks. So, and I did that one year with my uh, with my shrink. If sometimes the clouds are really low. Uh, I used to like to go up on Panorama Drive uh, in Berkeley. Uh, and you could see the bay from there. It was a beautiful view. And if you had a clear night, uh, it was it was a nice way to see it. The only thing is, is you don't know in San Francisco what the weather is going to be like. Exactly. Right. What the weather is going to be like uh, uh, on on that on July fourth. And if it's foggy, which it can be, uh, you know, yeah. you're not going to have a very good fireworks can... show. I I've been praying for rain here. 
at the Oakland A's games, they also do a, a lot of fireworks. And what Oakland uh, A's games? Hmm? Well, when they have Oakland A's games. <laughs> yeah, okay. And, and I would go into the parking lot, set up my camera uh, on the tripod, uh, 50 millimeter lens, and then uh, you hold down the bulb. So you keep the once the thing explodes, you hold down the switch, you keep the shutter open, and then I would turn the focus ring, and I got some unbelievable looking fireworks shots that, uh, you know, they're pretty neat. Well, now, wait a minute. Now, hold on a second. You hear about the great Juneteenth craziness that got revealed. Well, you had yeah. the uh, <clears throat> Bubba What's-His-Name down in uh, Talladega. Oh, Wallace. His last yeah. name was Wallace. Bubba <laughs> Wallace. And Bubba Wallace goes into his whatever it is, a shed or a shack or whatever where they garage. keep the cars, yeah. garage. <laughs> And there's a noose in there. So now everybody goes crazy. He's black. He's the only black driver at NASCAR. But, but, He's, but Alex, yeah. to be fair, though, he was going out to dinner, and the NASCAR guy called him and told him that it was there. Okay. But in any event, FBI all, all of a sudden, yeah, FBI comes in, investigates it. Everybody goes crazy. All the drivers rally around him. He drives his car down the track. They march after him in unity yep. and solidarity. And, he hugs them. and then they yeah. come to find out that this noose has been there for like two years, <laughs> that it was used to close a door. <laughs> and then, yeah, yeah, but but usually they're just, it's yeah. the thought that counts. It's the thought that counts. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you put a hangman's noose to close the door? Exactly. Know? And it, it, they say it was there for over a year. But still, it's it usually you just have a regular knot there so you could pull it down. And somebody made a noose a, a year ago or whatever. But NASCAR is good to jump on it. I mean, I... I it, it was good to jump on it. But then off. all of a sudden, everybody's going around going, my bad. You know, even, even Bubba Wallace is saying, my bad. No, yeah. it, it's taking the brunt I of it. People yeah. are very sensitive right now to these yep. kinds of things, and uh, you know, uh, it's. It, I don't think it was an overreaction based on what's happening today. I agree. Well, well, I think I would. I, I would have waited a little bit to find out if that rope had been there before. You know, right? And and um, uh, you know who put the rope there? Jesse, Jesse Small. Yeah, I knew. <laughs> yeah, right. I beat you to the punchline. Uh, I, I just feel bad for Bubba because he's taking the brunt of all the memes and everything, and he wasn't even the one that brought it up. Now, the latest thing uh, is um, Djokovic, the um, tennis player. Yeah. Um, what did he do? Uh, he's got COVID. But oh. he went and played some matches with COVID, and he went to some parties with COVID. And he did a lot a of stuff. Tournament. Yeah, a big tournament with COVID. And now they're really down on him, saying you should have been a little more responsible. Uh, so he's dating a girl named COVID? No. Mm -hmm. Okay, Phil. It's okay, not what a about joke Dale for the league. Hoogley. Yep. Dale Hoogley passed out during mm -hmm. his comment. Dale Hoogley, yeah. Yeah, and then yeah. they found out it's COVID. Yeah. Well, I feel like I'm going to pass out. I don't have a temperature, so I don't have COVID. Yeah. It could be asymptomatic. It could be. I've just been in this house too long. But now I, I now that I can go out of the house, it's too warm to begin with. And secondly, uh, there's nowhere to go. Really? It's dead out there. Yeah, there's nowhere to go. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go down. Are they going to open up your restaurants? They've opened them up already. Really? Just can't uh, inside of them. Yeah, no, they oh, have street oh, uh, for, th street for service. Dining. No, oh, street dining. Where to go? Brian, when when do our restaurants here. open for interior dining? I think you better. Uh, I'm you, not sure. I, think, I know they finally gave dates for the haircutting places and stuff like that. The 29th of June. Yeah, but the but the the COVID cases are going up in California, and the yeah, question is. and the Santa Clara County. She's the lady that really cut everything off, like one of the first cities, and uh, she's already like really hesitant in giving dates right now, and everybody's bad mouthing her, but they're being very cautious. Uh, yeah. I just have to say, I mean, Palo Alto is completely open for outside dining. 
and they're closing off the they're, they're closing off the downtown areas like Palo Alto, right? The yeah. Streets, right. Yeah. And then, I was over at Stanford Mall yesterday, rode, riding my bike, and there were all kinds of people eating at the restaurants outside. Berkeley, not even very far apart. You went to Santana Mall. Howard, Howard. Howard. Yeah. I was just going to say I'm here on Maui. The restaurants are now open. Yeah. Okay, okay, wait a minute. How, Howard had. I was uh, too. Hey, hold on. How I was just going to say I'm here on Maui and restaurants are open here. Oh, you're in Maui. Maui. Question: I uh, tourists that go to Maui or any of the Hawaiian Islands are told that they have to stay in their hotel rooms for two weeks. Fourteen days. No, that's yeah. if you bring a pet. No, 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 no. Uh, no, no, no. Right now, no tourists allowed. If you come, you have to stay in a hotel for fourteen days, self quarantine. Then you're allowed to roam after the fourteen days. Yeah. Wow. And they, they, if they catch you out before that, they fine you like five thousand bucks. And how, how many how many cases have you had there? Have you had a, a, a number of the cases, or has it been pretty sparse? Small. Very See, small. you know the thing is, you want to know where that comes from. Uh, the Hawaiian Islands were always afraid of one thing: rabies. Thanks. So, you, if you brought yeah. a pet, for instance, to Hawaii, you had to kennel them for what thirty days, two you months. Used to. Yeah, you used to. And, my, my cat had to kennel for thirty days, even though I proved yeah. that she didn't have rabies. Yeah, wow. yeah. And, and the thing is that the reason for the, that I think they're doing this is the same reasoning: that it's an island. And if it gets contained to an island, it has nowhere to go, okay? And so they've always been very aware of illnesses hitting the islands. Plants, snakes, things like that, they don't, uh, they don't want you bringing in. I, there's no poisonous snakes on, uh, in the Hawaiian islands, is that right? No. Nope. No. No poison. Yeah. However, they do have a lot of ukuleles, and that's enough to kill you. Oh, we busting out ukuleles? Come on, Pappy. <laughs> By the way, if Ron oh, Jeremy boy. is 67, I was wrong. My bad. He is 67? Yep. All right. American Patriot says you can take a drink. <laughs> uh, you can so take a drink. If you want to go to go on vacation, well, it's been American, just to visit to go to Maine. Has yeah. American Patriot been decent tonight? I don't know. Because he's been getting, he got racist for a while there, and I was about to, to ban him. Oh. Howard, what part of uh, Maui do you live on? I'm in Kihei. Oh, I like Kihei, just above Wailea. Well, Wailea we're certainly finding Kihei. out how well-traveled Phil is now. Any, anytime he can take an opportunity to name-drop cities, I've been there. 50 he will do times. it. Why? I, now, why do you why do you live there, Howard? Quickly, we only got a couple a couple about a half a minute left. Because I can't afford San Francisco oh, Bay Area. Okay, all right. But do do you like it? I notice you're wearing a Hawaiian shirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love it. Um, the weather's killer. Yeah. People are nice. When when there's no COVID, you get tons of hugs. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So it's uh, yeah, and they and they put a lay around your neck, which is pretty cool too. Anyway, my ties. And your ties as well. Uh, anyway, that's it. We've kind of run out of time here. Hey, call us again, will you, Howard, now that you're used to doing it? Really? Yeah, thank you for having me, Alex. Now that you're used to it, you'll probably participate more the next time you call. Okay? Yes. But we like well, having you here. <laughs> uh, Howard, and thank you very much to Brian, and thank you very much to John Larkin, or as he's known, Pappy O'Bannon. <laughs> Uh, Phil Meyer, thank you. Charlie Wallace, Tony, thank you. Kevin Stopper, Jeff Stein, and Ray Renati. All give yourself a big wave goodbye to our audience, and I'll give you a big wave back. Okay, here we go. Good night, guys. Good night. Hello, oh, Howard. wrong one, folks. That's the wrong one. Yes. There we go. Okay, that's it for our uh, our uh, uh, our panel for tonight on Zoom. Zoom has been really working well for us. Anyway, I hope I uh, didn't uh, wasn't too laid back because of the hoarse voice. Who knows why? I don't have anything. Okay. Anyway, she's my wife said go see a doctor. I said what do I tell him? Nothing to tell him. Anyway, I'll see you again uh, tomorrow. Uh, the Jack Bishop is next. The hiccuping Jack Bishop is next. 
over most of these cabinets uh, with the intersection. I'll see you tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, you know what to do. Of course. Tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. And take care of yourself. Be careful and wear a 